My life is nothing glorified, nothing special, nothing significant. I guess I wasn't leaving that much behind. Maybe that's what made the decision so easy. When I got the letter, I assumed it was important, because really, I mean, who uses the postal system anymore? My parents are dead. My friends are lazy. And of course, it was from somebody who wanted something. Dear Kemp, I know it's been about 30 years since we've last seen each other. But you are my last living relative. It would be lovely to have somebody to keep me company and organize my items, as most of it will probably be going to you. My address is on the front of the envelope, and I hopefully will see you soon. Love, Barb. What a bunch of shit. I'd hardly met this woman. I can barely remember what she looks like. The only reason I went is because I couldn't bear another day in the same boring routine. Who knows? Maybe this could be the fresh start I need, but I'm doubtful. How did this whole thing become my responsibility? Why does she want to make this whole thing so... I don't know... personal? It could have at least been a picture of me, considering I dropped everything to come help her. This was a mess. She really did need somebody to help. I told her I wanted to move through this process as quickly as possible. I'd pack up her stuff, clean the apartment, maybe do some grocery shopping and laundry. But if she was planning on having me stay, I'd have to find some kind of job just to get by. I told her I'd only spend six months there, though. I found a strange pleasure in her silence. She never contradicted or corrected me. I asked why she never wrote or called. I asked why she was never there for me when my parents passed away. I asked how she could miss all those birthdays. I wanted to know where she'd been all those lonely years.
Happy Birthday.